Welcome to another episode of uh, Life with Lightroom, which you can find at www.aurora.is. Today we are going to look at a name giving. Uh, it seems like a very simple task to look at, but it's quite important to have a good name giving. Uh, the file system that I used to have was based on the old DOS system. That is, I would give give uh, it three letters. Uh, each each file would get a three letters, and then uh, some s figure sequence therefrom. Uh, this old system uh, eight three, I based it on that because of compatibility with uh, between computer systems. Uh, DOS and Macintosh didn't like each other for a long time, but that's now over. You can uh, see this system uh, if you look at files from uh, the camera, like this one from the Canon camera. Here we can see uh, numbers and, and, and letters with starts with an underscore, and this is based on this uh, same 8.3 system. Uh, now Days this has changed so we can go away from it, but still there's some things that we have to think about. I used to make uh, folders on, on my big trip. I, I had it like that, that I had a special folder for images from Belize. I had from for Canada, for Costa Rica, El Salvador, and so on and so on. And I would give each uh, a file name based on three letters that were uh, were symbolic for the country and then a sequence this is okay system when you're working only on 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 like like this big trip that i took uh, i was i was working in 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 one country at a time at a one set of 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 images and so that system worked but when you're working in, in, in at home or in a studio environment and you have all kinds of different types of shot, this system can be confusing. You have to remember or find out the last name that you gave it, start from there and, and so on. So I would have to start here from Belize 6 old to next image would be 603 and so on. And so... Uh, this system is not quite working the way that I want, so here's the secret, I'm moving away from it. What I'm doing, and as, as you can see, uh, I've got quite a longer name now, and that should be alright uh, as long as you don't uh, stray too far away with, with, with the names and, and keep it as small as possible though. What I want to show you is, is how to, to, to rename files. So I've selected all the files that I've got in, in this folder. Uh, it's the same horse files that we had last time. We go to library. We go to rename photos. And there we have an uh, option to choose custom settings. You can see I have a custom text called ISL. Uh, and it's starting with the number one. Well, uh, you can you can take some custom names. You can have you have some 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 predefined name settings here. But I want to show you how you can change this and base this on whatever you like. Uh, like here, I'm putting up the new system that I'm putting up. I want to have day as the first figure. Uh, it's the European way of, 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 of reading uh, the days. I want to have uh, the days number one. Number two, I want to have the month. That's my second. And so I have the year last. You can see it here. These, when, when I was testing this, this was on, on, on 15th of March, 09. Then I put an underscore. You could have here, but uh, I choose to use underscore. It's just uh, 
it's easier to read and, and I find it more compatible. It's it's little varies a little bit what, what thing. Lightroom doesn't use underscore when it creates file, but I like to use it. And as you can see, I have a custom text and then I'm gonna have another underscore here. This custom text is the text that I put here. Then I have a sequence and I have based that sequence of five numbers. You can choose to, to have it on, 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 on five numbers or, or whatever, how, how you want to have it, image number, uh, sequence number or what. I choose to have it like that. So then I just click done. You can to put those uh, selections in here you can start by going here from from file name file name number suffix and and so on uh, this is something you will have to think about very carefully but uh, it's fine to do it because uh, it's gonna help in the long run and for example uh, today uh, I met with a friend he had been searching for image that he knew he had but he could not find it uh, and I laughed but when I got home I had to find myself an image and it seems that I did the error of erasing it from one of my hard disk it was a GNG file but it took me only 10 minutes to find the original because of uh, the old file system and, 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 and how I, I archive it everything it took me only 10 minutes to, to, to find the, the image and, and start working on it. So for images taken in Iceland, I'm going to use this ISL. It's, it's an international uh, three-letter uh, form that, that says this is Iceland. And I'm starting with the number one. So you just hit OK, and as you can see, Lightroom changes this here. This is, uh, in fact, very, very, very simple form, but it's necessary to take this step here in the CR file or in the raw file, because in next step we are gonna convert those files into D and G files, and what we want, we want to have the original file, the DNG file, and the TIFF files, all with same or similar number. The only change that we have is in the ending. That's the basic reason why I was so quick to find my image today. I could read that the image that I wanted was an image from actually it was not from belize it was from from canada uh, i can go in i can say okay i need the raw file for belize 103 and i can easily retrieve it because of the system i know it's in belize i know it's in the folder 101 and uh, to 200 in even in the folder uh, of, of files that are uh, like if we see in in uh, here in in USA I have well I have the same system all over right but changed change I, I got away from having it from from one to thousand and, and then folders there within but you could do that so it took me only only a couple of minutes to, to find the file I knew it was in the place where where I had a backup of, of of raw files and the number was 103 I only needed to know that that and that made it quite simple to find it so that's it for now next we will uh, take a look at DNG files why we convert things to DNG in the next step thank you for you for today and hope you it was of use to you and I will see you soon. Thank you.